with the release of a film and their respective new designs, why not dive back into the cesspool that is the Molkit Hellhole and take a good old look at Nultman Wannabe and BBQ's Golden Olive Chicken. First, look at Gritman. This titular variant, unlike the simple but modernized version seen in the first series, has gone through a swag redesign as the plain red and gray combo found in particular points has now been replaced with either an all out gold in the fixer beam or embedded with golden linings on both the arms and legs. This is in addition to the arms and legs being different in color, in which they have adopted a purple paint scheme more akin to Grit Knight. This is also not mentioning the already painted face that is a vast improvement over the simpleton that is the original, and the newly added golden crown as the accessory that not only adds riz to Gritty, but makes him look awfully similar to a particular <laughs> monarchy. Makes you guess what a grit man who exploits minors and forcefully possesses an innocent child is the good guy. Regarding what grit man is accompanied by, throw your hands, throw your fists, for fisting, open hands for groping, holding hands to hold something down the line, and karate chopping hands for trying to chop Godzilla but realizing he bit off more than he could chew. When talking about Griffin's stature, ooh la la, someone's gonna get laid in college. Not gonna even mention the exact size and showing it is likely to be a better portrayal. Here's Gritman next to a dead girl, a physically disabled, a virgin, full power Gritman, Dima Zenon, the big G, and. When looking at how Gritman poses, the head can move side to side, up and down, needs more shoulder presses, something I can't do, a nice bend, bloody hand movement, body movement, or body movement. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Leg split. Barbara Durkle, somebody's gonna get laid in college. Leg movement is decent. Knee movement is decent. Definitely never done a foot job before. So, if I were to sum up Miniature Gridman here, he's more or less a piece in a bigger machine, but by itself is. Mediocre. Being a mere toddler next to the big G. Next in line is the upgraded redesign of Goldburn, which I can clearly say is the better figure out of the two. When looking at Goldburn, just by the looks alone, it's a definitive upgrade compared to the scrawny, dull, and untainted version from the original release. As just by the size alone, Goldburn seems to have been taking heavy doses of certain substances. What is drugs? As this little fella was able to reach heights that rivals even the big G. This is not mentioning the added color separations from the red eyes and the translucent blue pods placed throughout the body. And the stickers seem to have gotten a similar upgrade as not only are the blue stickers larger in scale, but also possess an added metallic finish as they're able to reflect the light and dust shine more compared to the original. And there's also this peculiar multicolored stickers at the center which while great are obstructed by the translucent blue, so pick your poison. But do you know the most significant change? Our cute bipedal kaiju became a quadruped, as the long hind legs and sharp bird-like talons have been replaced with a pair of short and stubby legs in which the talons have lost their once proud edge and regressed to those seen on the big G. But in their place are two extra front limbs in which they are so small that they make the big G proportionally large. But the biggest change are the wings as the former chicken-like wings have been replaced by a larger pair resembling those of a phoenix or that akin to another golden dragon. And attached to the wings are a huge pair of ranged beam weapons that add a bit of firepower and aid in Goldburn's offensive capabilities against both mechs and kaijus alike. And we can't forget about the tail as Goldburn shed the fish-like design to blossom into one more akin to that of the King of the Monsters himself with not only the extended length and the whip-like finish, but the added spikes on top that if used can prove to be lethal in close range. Highlight the term if used. When it comes to accessories, none. Next! As stated before, the current version of Goldberg not only outsizes the original, but is on the larger category of kaiju figures, and showing off Goldburn Vex exemplifies such growth. Here's Goldburn next to a mermaid, physically disabled, 
the Virgin, by historical records, the real Astro Boy, and the OG Goldburn. When discussing about opposability, let's just say Goldburn here possesses more movements than Gritty Boy. The head can move only up and down, the jaw can move down, the neck only moves side to side, the wings can move side to side but also up and down, but they do have a tendency to fall off. Body movement, what body movement? Slight leg movement, but nonetheless, ooh la la, someone's gonna get laid in college. The tail can move up and down, but nothing comparable to the likes of the big G. And that's it, a rigid dragon that shares more in common with Mothra and Rodan. So, in short, the newly released versions of both Gripman and Goldburn are an improvement over their predecessors, most likely due to the better rendered skull, better defined coloring, especially on the stickers, and a newly added color separated parts, but I feel as if they're DLC to a bigger part of the picture rather than a proper release. Cause they are. Stop it!